Okay, so we are at the first day of the Fully Charged Live Show in Vancouver. We're excited. They're going to open the gates in about half hour and the public's going to start coming in, but you have no idea how proud I am of the team and our ability to show off these trucks here. It's really, really exciting. We're kind of up in the big leagues here and we're right at the front door. You couldn't get a nicer spot. It's cool. This is gonna be fun, this is gonna be fun. Eric's already doing news interviews. Honestly, I feel so relieved and so incredibly proud to be here. Like, the amount of stress we had to make it to this show, but we did it, the truck works, it drives, it drove in here, it, everything worked exactly how it should. Just the stress level has come down. We can just enjoy it, we can be proud of it, and we can just take a few days to really just enjoy this moment. Uh, before we move on to the next trucks. So it was one year ago today that we showed off Carl at the Hope Brigade days, that tiny truck show. One year later, we are able to show off our new truck in downtown Vancouver. That is an incredible, incredible accomplishment. And it's, it's one of those really proud things because how many people can bring their own truck that they designed and built into the show? So this team is feeling incredibly proud to be able to do that. Like, Every other vehicle in here, it's somebody else's vehicle. Somebody else designed it and they're showing it off. We brought our own vehicle, something that we made, something that the fans helped design, that this is a big community effort and I think everybody really should feel proud of this. Okay, I just want to introduce Carl for those that may not be familiar with him. This was our first proof of concept. It is a 1962 Kenworth LW923. It was built just four blocks away back in the 60s in Vancouver. Like literally this truck was built just down the street from here and I think it is so cool that we could retrofit this truck to be electric and bring it back into a trade show in 2023. Like 60 years later, this truck is still on the road, still able to be shown off as an example of technology, still built right here in British Columbia, and that is so cool. So I want to introduce this truck to you. So we got a little tradition at Edison that when a truck first moves and it gets first driven, it gets its name. So I'm introducing to you Topsy. We named it after the elephant that Thomas Edison electrocuted in respect to the elephant. Stickers available on the merch store and some t-shirts. But this is the truck that we built. This was, truck was built completely by scratch. For those following along on the YouTube, you will have seen this as a bare set of steel frame rails. And in just one year, we took those bare steel frame rails, engineered and decided where every single nut and bolt on this truck was gonna be. We completely designed and built it from scratch in just a year. And it, that's cool. This is cool. This is the first truck designed and built in BC since Western Stars closed down in the 90s. Well guys, we made it to fully charged. It's just absolutely incredible. Gates open in about a half an hour, so this is this place is going to get pretty busy in the next little bit here. So, uh, just just so amazed we made it here in one piece. Uh, we're so excited, and uh, yeah, I just can't wait to see everybody's faces and you know all those eyes pop open as they see the truck for the first time. So we're already big hit. Like yeah. everyone that comes in, it gravitates towards it. You stick out like a sore oh, thumb. Totally. I mean, it's literally the first thing you see when you walk in the door. So. I'm just so pleased. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see that door here. That's the door. Yeah. This is the door. You walk in well, yeah, you into see our it's truck. Right behind you. It's just rain right your face, you know? Alan here's brought us some uh, banners, like an official like trick company. Oh. Nice. And Alan is one of our original and largest investors. Yeah, yeah. That looks awesome. When you're downtown, you gotta look downtown. I feel like we're a professional truck company. This is sweet. We're gonna be, we're gonna be uh, coming to talk to you. Um, I'm not sure when, but Grace knows everything. Edison, when do we see them? Uh, we're gonna interview them tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. By tomorrow, um, I'll be. Uh, what time? Uh, I think we're stopping by at three o'clock. Oh, three o'clock. Good. I won't be into the sauce then, so. I'll be able to ask you tough questions. Well, it'll be interesting to see what you actually think of a truck that was built by a bunch of loggers. You know what? I do not want to talk to you. You know why? Because yeah, it'll ruin the... Tomorrow, yeah. I'll, yeah no, I get that 100%. Yeah, then I 
you can give me surprises. Jeez, you're just gonna put me on the spot like that. <laughs> you just want me to be like, the truck looks good? Sure. It looks sick, okay, the truck looks good, it looks sick. <laughs> there's so many things that just make sense about it. It's so rare that you get into something and there's actually reason behind why the stuff has been done instead of it just being like, oh, there's stuff. I, I don't know. We're, we're, we, I was not adequately prepped for this. We paid him to say this. No money has exchanged hands. Actually, I got a hat. <laughs> oh, good, good. We hooked you up with a hat, eh? What are you getting there, Chase, and say? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just super cool. I really like how you can just change the engine to whatever it needs to be, and you still just have an electric car out here. Okay, I'm here with Sonia. She is the leader of the BC Green Party, and she is by far one of my most respected politicians. Now, I don't always agree politically with the Green Party, but I once actually did a TikTok where she was talking about a natural gas pipeline and not liking it, and I said, well, I'm in favor of shutting down the coal plants in China and replacing with natural gas, but I contradicted her. She phoned me and talked on the phone with me for over an hour as we debated and talked, and like the, one of the most reasonable people to listen. I learned a lot of things from her, and since then, I've gained a lot of respect, and I'm so happy to be able to show her this truck today. The respect is mutual. I so appreciate Chase, the way that you communicate, the way that you show solutions, the way that you demonstrate that we can actually get out of these crises by applying common sense solutions. The truck is such a perfect example. It's great to have a tour of it. And uh, it's, it's the innovation and ingenuity that says, let's do better and create the conditions to keep doing better after that, as opposed to, we have to be perfect in every way. I so admire the, the work that you do both with Edison and in your communication on TikTok and I think this is a perfect example. Politics shouldn't be about we're drawing lines, we can't agree on anything. It should be about conversation, listening to each other, learning from each other. I've learned so much from you and uh, it's such a pleasure to meet you in person. Thanks. Thanks again so Thanks, much Chase. for coming to see this truck. Glenn Gary with the Victoria Electric Vehicle Association. The truck here. Talking to Chase, he's got he's totally on board with the right idea. Make things last, make things repairable, make things that reduce the amount of pollution that's gonna be in the air. It's all perfect. We even if it's diesel today, five years down the road, pop the diesel up, put more batteries in if, if all that shakes up. No, that's brilliant. And and the truck, you know, because everything here is That'll go forever. Just keep swapping parts in and out as tech gets better. Swap the batteries. Yeah, yeah. yeah instead of doing an engine rebuild because the generator it'll run forever. Yeah. Just do a battery drill. Pop the batteries up, put the new batteries in. You're off and running again. This truck will last 20 years. Yeah. It's brilliant. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks for taking a look. I'm Brian from My Tesla Weekend. I do daily videos on all kinds of things, including Tesla. Yeah, that's a big surprise. First impressions, I guess I'd say it's big, it's ugly, and it, that's what's needed to get the job done. So when it gets closer to production, the stats will be the stats. Is it going to work for everyone? No, of course not, but it doesn't have to. So if this beast can work for 1% of users, that's more trucks than you're going to sell than you could possibly build. So this is a, a cool step in the right direction and I'm very excited to see how it works out in the end. I'm John, I came from Indiana. Oh, I definitely exceeded expectations. I've, I've been seeing it online, but it's just so much better in person. And the amount of attention that it's receiving is awesome. I, there's a lot more people looking at Topsy and Carl than any of the Mac or Volvo, Peterbilt, and for good reason. I fucking love this truck. This is badass. I'm Charles. Um, I found the YouTube channel and I, I've worked in avionics, electronics for a long time and uh, now I, I write manuals and I just love the, the sort of uh, the maintainability of it. Uh, just working with, working with aircraft I became very familiar with everything, being able to take apart everything, replace every part, fix every part as, as necessary. And it's something that I think is desperately needed, especially with the way the, with, with our, our need to reuse and rebuild things. Um, it's not something that you see in many of these modern futuristic trucks. They feel like toys. They don't feel like working things. And this, the, the Edison truck feels like it was built to work. It feels like it was 
you know, okay. meant to be a real vehicle uh, right from the start, right from the concept. This is not a concept model. This is a w going to be a working vehicle. And I, I, I'm big into that. As you can see, all of us are extremely excited to be here at Edison Motors Topsy Release, including the girlfriends. You can see their, their utmost excitement. My name is Blaze. I found you guys on TikTok, actually. I found Chase back when he was just doing vlogging stuff. Just followed you guys through TikTok all the way through to YouTube. And I've seen what you guys have been doing with Carl and with Topsy. And I love it. I love the concept. I love you building a vehicle to last 20, 30 years and not building it to last five years and end up in a junkyard. You're building quality vehicles so more people will buy more quality vehicles and you don't need to worry about them buying one every five years. It's a really lovely concept instead of seeing all these vehicles around me here that are all designed to fail within five years and you got to buy another one. Like there's no point to it. But if you make a sustainable vehicle that you can fix with parts off the shelf, that's a wonderful idea. When I walk into the showroom, I'm looking around at all the other people, all like Volvo, Peterbilt, and they're all dressed very fancy, looking very nice. And I come over to you guys and you're all in your work boots and your work clothes and you just showed up and finished the truck last week. Like you are a company that really wants to show they want to become something. You guys have a goal and you're determined to do it. And you're determined to put the manpower in and it's a vehicle designed for truckers. It's not designed for someone to come and look and buy like 300 of them wearing a suit that costs $3,000. It's designed for people who have a job and need a purpose-built vehicle that will survive their job. Jeez. He's trying to close the door. Hey, you baby, are you driving the truck? No? What do you think? Is the Edison truck as nice as you you as expected? All done. You want to up in Carl now? What do you think? Just because you're my son, you get VIP treatment. Jeez. <laughs>